Hi everyone. Hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to learn about a traumatic restorative treatment or in short art. Yes, this is me Dr. Ratira from Dr. So let's get started. Yes, to begin we need to know what is art or a traumatic restorative treatment. Actually, it is something that is based on minimal intervention, minimal invasion and minimal cavity preparation for caries lesion. Okay, so art is defined as a minimal invasive care approach in preventing dental caries and stopping its further progression. And it was given by Joe E. Franken. Okay, in 2012, he was the first one to use art in his clinics. Now let's see what are the principles. Yes, there is only two main principles for art and those two principles are the first one very simple removing the caries tooth tissue only using hand instruments and next restoring it with a material that sticks to the tooth. Now you must be wondering why only hand instruments isn't it? Yes. Now, why? Because it requires only minimal preparation of the cavity, isn't it? So, we need to conserve as much as sound tooth structure and also we should cause only less trauma to the patient or no trauma to the teeth. So, for that is that is one of the main reason why we use only hand instruments. That hand instruments have lesser cost when compared to any electrically driven dental equipments that we use like air rotors or micromotors. Actually, that there is very limited pain and the need for local anesthesia is almost minimum or you can say there is no use and even that can cause reduced psychological trauma to the patient and moreover hand instruments we can simply you can in, uh, do infection control for that isn't it you can sterilize those but uh, you know how we how difficult it is to sterilize or to disinfect our micromotors and air rotors so compared to that hand instruments can be easily sterilized now till now that is uh, glass ionoma cement is known as the best restorative material and that is the one which is performed in art the reason why because glass ionoma cements can stick chemically to both the enamel as well as the dentine and there is only less need for the cavity preparation because glass ionomers will stick to the tooth well. Rather, uh, when we are check, when we are telling about the amalgam, or you need a definite cavity preparation. In glass ionoma, you don't need to prepare much cavity preparations. And not only that, glass ionomers they will release fluoride from the restoration, and that can prevent as well as arrest the caries. Then. Glass ionoma cement, these are more biocompatible. It means it does not inflame the pulp or gingiva. Now let's see what are the indications. Now we can use this only in small cavities. That is cavities that are accessible to the hand instruments. And basically we do this art procedures in public health programs. Like if you are conducting a camp, we do this art in such cases. Now let's see what are the contraindications. So in small cavities you can put. So if there is a large caries cavity can you put? No. So yeah these are the contraindications. If there is a swelling or fistula near the caries tooth or if the pulp is exposed or if the teeth have been painful for long time it means it is chronic pulpitis. In such cases you cannot do and if there is an obvious caries cavity. In this situation also you cannot uh, conduct or do the procedure of art. Now let's see what are the advantages. Yes, the main advantage is that it conserves the tooth structure, isn't it? And also causes less trauma. And not only really that, art is painless. And because we are doing only a, uh, we are doing a very small cavity, so it does not approach the pulp. And the need for local anesthesia is also reduced so that. Because sensitivity is less, okay, we are not going deep into the dentine. And also, it is having a simplified infection control scheme. And the technique is simple. Even it is enough to train a non-dental personnel since it does not take too much of tensions. Now, let's see what is the importance of art in public health. 
Yes, since it is a friendly procedure, there are great potential for its use among children, fearful adults, mentally and physically handicapped patients. In such patients, we can use art because it's a friendly procedure. It does not use those uh, rotating instruments which produce a sound and that may frighten the children or even those mentally and physically handicapped patients. They may, it may give them uh, you know, mental stress. So we avoid all those and since it is a friendly procedure, it is having a great importance in such person's life. And also it makes the restorative care more accessible for all population groups. Artists are, and also not only that, it is very cost effective as we have mentioned before. Now let's see what is the, how does the procedure happens? Yes. First, you need a good working environment, isn't it? Inside the mouth as well as outside the mouth. Then you need to control the cross infection. That is, you have to maintain a hygienic environment, aseptic environment. And then you can restore the cavity. So now let's go in detail. Working environment. You need a good working environment. First one is outside the mouth. So outside the mouth means what? Yes, it uh, says to the operator as well as if he has an assistant. So the distance of, from the operator's eye to the patient's tooth, it should be approximately 30 to 35 centimeter at least. And if the operator is working with an assistant, then the assistant's head should be 10 to 15 centimeter higher than that of the operator. This is the position that they should maintain when they are working. This is outside the mouth. And also, obviously, you need a good uh, chair with, you know, headrest and good lighting facility. Natural lighting is also good, but then also a uh, lighting facility if possible. These all comes outside the mouth. Okay. Now, inside the mouth. Inside the mouth, you need to control saliva around the tooth that is being treated. So, for that, what can we do? We said it is a cost-effective procedure. So, we cannot use rubber dam in such cases and there is no use like you don't need to use rubber dam over here because we are not preparing so much isn't it only a cotton wool rolls should be uh, that can provide a short term protection from saliva so cotton wool is more than necessary because we don't use much of water since we use from air rotors or from, from air rotors what happens the water also gets pumped isn't it so you need rubber dam but in this cases you only need to protect that from the saliva and cotton rolls will do best of there. Now we have the next, next step that was the hygiene and control of cross infection. What after using the instruments what should we do? Yes we have to wash the instruments with brush in a soapy water and after that you have to put the clean instruments in an autoclave and not only that take the instrument out are from the autoclave with the forceps and dry them in a clean towel. After that, you have to put it in a clean box. Okay, this is the step how you prevent cross infection. Next, we have to see what are the essential instruments for art. We need to know that. Yes, in art, we basically use a mouth mirror, explorer, tweezer, carver, hatchet, spoon excavators to excavate out the caries, uh, spatulas, you know as a cotton roll, petroleum jelly because we are using glass aeroma cements so we need petroleum jelly so that there is no water con salivary contamination after placement. We need wedges to have rapid separation of the tooth if we want something to if the plastic strip is not entering in such cases then glass aeroma cement. So these are the instruments, major instruments at least you should have for doing a traumatic restorative treatments. With that, we finish off the topic and hope you all understood. Have a nice day ahead.